Okay guys, in this next short video I'm going to talk about ethics. So we've discussed ethics throughout um, this, this last topic. But I'm just going to summarize this in a, in a couple of slides. So you may get asked something like, analyze the conflict between increased production and the ethical concerns in biotechnology innovation. Biotechnology is the use of organisms or natural biological processes to benefit humans. It does not just encompass GM technology, but also embodies crossbreeding, hybridization, fermentation, artificial insemination, and embryo transfer. However, rising production using biotechnology innovation has been voiced as a concern due to the lack of knowledge and assurance of health, safety, and the issue of public rights, e.g. lack of labeling of GM foods. So you guys have labeling laws that in here in Australia, um, other countries it might be a bit more relaxed. Um, one of the main concerns is we don't know the long-term consequence of this because the technology just has not been around long enough to see what's going to happen uh, in 40, 50 years' time. So to summarise a lot of what we've said already, in genetically modified crops, a desirable gene from another organism has been inserted into the genome to make the crop superior. For example, chemical resistance to Roundup for soya beans, resistance to insects for Bt cotton, and drought resistance in wheat. These genes are patented by the company. The patenting itself is under ethical scrutiny. So remember we looked at that big um, list of people who had patented different crops and Monsanto was just all over it. Um, the company who sells the seeds of the GM crop, meaning that they also gain royalties from whoever uses their seeds. The farmers using their seeds may also become locked into contracts where they no longer become their own producer. This is a problem for farmers whose seeds may have accidentally been exposed to the GM variety through cross-pollination and contamination of transport equipment. If they are found to have GM variety, the company can bill the farmer for royalties. So that's pretty pretty mad. The extent and widespread possibility of contamination of GM crops means that farmers who do not wish to grow GM foods no longer have a choice. It is very hard to avoid contamination. So although GM enhances production, makes it cheaper, easier and less chemicals, it can also remove uh, freedom of choice. So essentially, if I was a normal farmer that wasn't using GM crops and natural processes, wind pollination, all these things, suddenly uh, my crops start producing GM seeds, then the people who produce the GM seeds could charge me money for that. So that doesn't seem very fair, but that's the way the law is at the moment. So is that ethical? I would say probably not, but what do we do about it? Okay, there's other ethics involved. We talked about dehorning and things like that, but they're not really part of the section but I'd maybe use this to go back and look at your notes on other ethical issues um, to give yourself a refresher.